Hello folks, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are going to discuss tips for high yield maize. Maize is a common food crop for many developing countries despite of being known very famous, but the yield is still low or the same. These are some reasons. Run preparation. Most of farmers, they really don't care much about run preparation. They just dug up and throw the seed. But they really better know that if they invest in good run preparation, they will reduce much cost, especially in weeding. And also, with this good run preparation, you can control pest and the disease invasion. Another factor to consider is supplemental irrigation. In supplemental irrigation, you can use center pivot irrigation. You can also use flip irrigation system. You can use other method of irrigation. In our station, we base on two methods. The first one is center of pivot and drip irrigation. This one is the model that it will help farmer to adapt if this model it will work for them. The reason we are looking here is cost effective. So we need to find a way that is highly effective, efficient. That's what we are looking within these two. The cost of installation and how it's running. In the drip irrigation, you should have water pump. You collect water from the source. You can have the source, maybe borehole, the river, or the wreck. In maize production, you don't have complicated system when it comes to drip irrigation. You just have Water pump, one tank. In horticulture, you should have three tanks for different fertilizers, but for, for maize production, one tank is enough. And also this you're seeing is filter because we are getting the water from the borehole. So we need to feed or impute sands and other things that can crop the drips. By doing so, we are sure that our drips are going to work proper. So we we are going to get the results that we are expecting. Maize sowing technique. This is a small holder farmer. They show the usually seed because majority of group are old people. That's why they have bagging for seeding. But they do the work amazing. Fertilizer application. You should apply fertilizer in fourth and the six weeks. And this is how we apply fertilizer in our field. This is called top dressing. You can see majority of workers are old people in the village. Feed scouting. You need to waste your feed so often so that we can figure plant density. If there is a need to do plant gapping, you can come and do it. If there is a disease and an insect, you can take serious control. Good run preparation ensure the feed of free of disease. This is maize under center pivot. Center pivot is method of irrigation that is supply water to the feed through overhead sprinkler. This sprinkler attached in this pivot. This center pivot it cover very large area. This is one advantage. Despite installation cost is quite high compared to drip but management cost is very low compared to drip management costs here is cut because of automation this one it run with the power so when you you program the they have it have weeds that move from one place to another this center pivot it can rotate and what i love with this center pivot that operated with this sprinkler irrigation. It is very efficient and effective too. You can use this for many activities, especially spraying and watering. What I mean by watering, you can apply fertilizer and the water at the same time. That process is called fertigation. What you need, you just need to fill the tank. I will move this to another side of this center pivot 
so you can see the tank the blue one so you put the fertilizer or you put the chemical if you want to spray for insect invasion that's why i love this center fiber it's mud purpose it save a couple of different work in the field you just adjust the pressure this is all about the center pivot free weeds this comes with the application of herbicide so if you prepare well your soil and then because of good durage and you spray the herbicide the chemical that can kill weeds it is more efficient compared to the person who spray herbicide or do hand weeding which is labor intensive and consume a lot of time weeds itself if it's not controlled it can cause severe loss 40 to 60 percent which is very huge only weed that can cause this and we know weed competes nutrients with maize if you prepare your run you are out of this problem because this problem is very avoidable you can avoid it by investing first in a good run preparation then you will apply less herbicide to control the weed another thing you see the plant preparation the number of plants in the area high plant preparation is the key most of people or oh, they don't mention about this that's why maize has become common or oh, seems very simple you just put the seed put fertilize and then water harvest good run preparation is the key good variety is the key the variety which can stand high plant density resistance to disease and insects especially fall armyworm which is serious major loss for the maize recently each growing there is different nutrient efficiency and also in each growth stage there is water use eff efficiency different that's why supplementary irrigation is the most important factor supplementary means when the rain stop you have a substitute so you supply water which provides good moisture content that will enable your maize to grow without stress at this stage it's critical for the maize it need to have enough water so that it can feed the silk milking and all stage of the growth so it can have good cob feed with seeds with good variety some variety they give two cobs two cobs per plant which is very amazing this is with uh, without supplemental irrigation it cannot be successful because more plants you have per area and um, more cobs per plant it need more nutrients and water and this one can be achieved only with supplementary irrigation for the people who are depending 100 percent in rain it cannot work therefore combination of these factors can help us to achieve high yield maize if we take consideration of these factors we can get the amazing results in a sustainable way so this mark end of my video if you are not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button it will help this channel to grow the next episode i will talk about conservation agriculture i will talk the different practice that this farm in this area they are practicing so like share and subscribe once again thank you for watching see you in another episode bye